What's the best way to learn profitable money-making skills? I'll tell you right now. But before I do, click the like button and the subscribe button because as you know, the YouTube algorithm demands those likes and those subscribes. Anywho, on to the main topic. Let's talk about how to learn these profitable money-making skills. First off, what are profitable skills? Well, these are the skills that are high in demand and they will be high in demand for the foreseeable future. For example, we have web design, copywriting, coding, email marketing, social media marketing, and search engine optimization. And for example, any kind of consultancy in any field. You know, once you have one of these skills, you'll be able to make more money because you'll be able to sell these as services or you can just focus on selling them and then delegating all the hard work and grunt work to other people. That said, how do you actually learn these skills? I'll give you eight steps for you to learn them quickly. And the first at bat is actually choosing the skill. And this skill must be something that you actually can fall in love with. So do a trial of trying to just to learn it for a couple of days to see how you feel with that skill. If you don't feel that it's something that you can sustain for long periods of time, discard it and then go to the next skill. Now, to make this time more worthwhile, think about the things that you love. What do you like to do? Do you like to write? Do you like to design stuff on Photoshop? Do you feel like you would prefer to be talking into the camera or talking to other people. Depending on the likes that you have, choose a skill that fits these likes of yours. Cool? If you choose something that you don't like, there's no chance in hell you'll learn that skill. Step number two, break the skill into smaller chunks. So this way you don't get overwhelmed with all the hard work you'll have to do. Because at the end of the day, you will need to put in the work. But once you reduce the workload of learning tiny parts of that skill, it will make it so much more enjoyable for you to sit down, study, and make this work for you. It'll make the process so much simpler to enjoy, to love, and it will help you understand the different aspects and ideas and methods and, and tactics and strategies of that given skill that you're trying to learn. Step three, after you break down the skill into smaller chunks, well, it's now time to start a project you can love. Let's say that you're trying to learn web design. You'll spend a couple of hours reading through the different blogs, watching different video courses. But what then? Well, you need to decide on creating your first blog. And that will be the project that you will fall in love with. And let's think about this in other ways. Find a problem and solve that problem with that skill. And you turn that problem into a project that you want to solve. So once you decide on the skill, once you break down the skill into smaller chunks, decide on the project with which you want to solve a problem. And step four is where everything starts to pan out, okay? Because here's my advice. Step four is study for at least 25 minutes every single day. This way you create the habit of studying that given skill. At the end of the day, if you want to learn anything, if you want to crush it every day, if you want to achieve any kind of success, you need well-established habits. And one of these habits, in the case of learning profitable skills, is studying every day for at least 25 minutes. Now, if you are like me, you could make this, instead of 25 minutes, you can make this a 50-minute study or two-hour study, whatever floats your boat. That's your decision, but at least 25 minutes is what I recommend for you to invest, for you to learn this profitable skill quicker than anyone else. Step five is to actually practice what you learn. Look, there's a huge, huge, huge difference between reading something, watching the course, and putting things into practice. It's so different. 
it even uses different parts of your brain. So if you're just passing pages from left to right or scroll <laughs> or watching a video at 2x speed, believe me, you will not learn quickly. You need to put in the work and you need to do that by practicing what you learn. And now at first it will be uncomfortable because at the end of the day, you're new. And when you're new at something, you will fail a lot. And failure makes you and makes me uncomfortable. So no matter how uncomfortable it feels to practice, you need to push through and practice every day on top of the 25 minutes of study. Cool? Now, let's talk about step six. Pay attention to your body and thoughts. Look, if you are feeling stressed, if you're feeling anxious, for example, I feel anxiety here on my chest, that means that there's something wrong with your learning. If you're stressed or anxious while learning something, that means that you need to reduce the level of that particular topic that you're learning. Because, well, man, you're stressed and anxious because that's way above your current skill level. So it's very simple. Pay attention at how you feel. If you feel too comfortable, well, it means you need to raise the bar and find something that can actually challenge you. And if that something does not challenge you, well, you'll go back to feeling comfortable and you'll fail. But if that thing challenges you just too much, then reduce the level of that particular topic that you are trying to learn. Step seven, set fast feedback loops. Look, how do you know that what you are learning is the correct thing? And how do you avoid learning the wrong stuff? This is where the feedback loops come in. One example of a feedback loop is that, imagine that you're stuck learning web design and you don't know how to position a little box to the right. Well, you just try it out, see, figure it out by yourself. If you can't, go to Google and just start reading through the different blog posts and the different articles that you find. That's one way to find the feedback. Another way is that you can follow the right people on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, and approach them. You can send them a DM or you can tag them on Twitter, asking them a question, and they'll let you know, some of them, not everyone, will let you know if you are right or you're wrong. You can also join different forums. You'll find a bunch of forums just by typing the name of the skill that you want to learn and the term forum on Google. Once you do that, you'll find a gazillion forums where you'll find tons and tons of people that are learning that given skill where you can connect with them, engage with them, ask them questions, reply to their questions and set multiple feedback loops. You can also find other people who are at your same skill level and you can create challenges together or challenge each other or build accountability groups with them, okay? So that way you create fast feedback loops. So you know that what you are learning is the correct thing and that you're not learning the wrong ideas. And finally, we have step eight. Here's one of the things that bugs me the most. People who are starting out at a new skill will find a million excuses to try to achieve perfection. And let me tell you something, when you're learning something, it's okay to make mistakes. So step eight is don't strive for perfection. Strive for creation. Stop believing that you should be the best from the get-go because <laughs> that, frankly, is 100% impossible. No matter how skillful, how talented you are, when you are a beginner, things will be really, really bad at first, okay? Imagine yourself drawing for the first time. Dude, you'll have a tough time drawing a sphere. You'll have a tough time drawing an eye. You'll have a tough time just getting the basic anatomy of a person because you're a beginner. So strive for creation instead of perfection. Another way to see this is to forget quality for a moment because you're a beginner, okay? And focus more on quantity. Draw that sphere, 
10, 20, 100 times until you create the most beautiful 3D sphere, okay? Create 10 different websites. Write 10 different emails. Learn how to find the keywords for search engine optimization. Whatever the skill that you're learning, do it. Just focus on quantity at first, because when you put in the reps, the quality will start rising slowly. And then you'll notice that with time, oh, wow, everything seems to be so easy now. And that's when you figure out that it's time to level up and find other resources that challenge you to be better. So in summary, choose a skill. Break down that skill into smaller chunks. Start a project that you can love. Study every day at least for 25 minutes. Practice a lot. Pay attention to your body and your thoughts. Set fast feedback loops. And don't strive for perfection. Instead, strive for creation. My name is Jose Rosado and Please share this with someone that you feel might need these kind of videos to encourage them to learn the profitable skills that they need in order to make more money, to live a better lifestyle, to achieve their dreams. And finally, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because you'll be getting more and more and more videos. And with time, hopefully, the quality of everything is even better. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.